Hey, it's Tim here. In today's video, I have scissors and a box from Tableau. If you don't know what this is, stay tuned. As ever, let's get started. Okay, so um, last week I was part of something super special at Dreamforce. Um, if you didn't catch that, no worries. Uh, you probably just want to know what's in this box. So I'm actually going to get to that. But this box has had a little bit of a story. It's actually been on its way to me for much longer than maybe uh, the time between Dreamforce and now suggests. Um, this was actually supposed to arrive before Dreamforce, but courtesy of the Home Office Border Control, uh, it got held up for basically nearly two weeks at this rate. <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with the package. Like all the documentation on the package clearly says what it is. It's just it's just just an item of clothing, right? Um, but for whatever reason, it got stuck for two weeks. And uh, yeah, just uh, they must have they must have thought it was a rather suspicious way of sending a hoodie all the way across um, the Atlantic. So let's go ahead and open this. Um, I actually know what's in this because um, I know who it's come from and I've been able to piece together the narrative. So let's go ahead and open this. I'll probably cut some of this out so it's uh, a little bit more interesting. Okay, boom. Okay. A bubble wrap. <laughs> oh, I love it. And uh, I can already tell, do not open before Dreamforce. Uh, yes, obviously Dreamforce has passed, so I think we're good. I think we can open this. Um, it's really a nice touch, actually. I wondered what it was. Um, I won't cut the ribbon either. I think I wanna, let's see if I can undo the ribbon. Can we do this properly? Let's go ahead and do this. It's slightly off screen. I know this is highly not entertaining. There we go. And we can hopefully open this box. This is one of those weird boxes that you can't get the lid off. And there we go. We've got something else. This is like uh, an Easter egg, huh? Whoa, oh, hold on. Wow, this has been, uh, this has got lots of glitter on it. And I think it's, a, it's a probably appropriate. Uh, God, this is, this is funny. So let me try and do this on screen. So this is from Dreamforce. It is a golden hoodie. And um, I will probably just, cut to the clip on screen uh, of this being awarded to me. But uh, yeah, there you go, <laughs> there it is. Uh, I'm just gonna open it on my desk. Um, you know what, I'm gonna put this on and we're gonna check it out. And this is absolutely epic. I mean, <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. But look at that, absolutely incredible. Um, on the back, there's nothing on the back. I'm actually killing two genres on YouTube here in one go. I'm doing both an unboxing and a wardrobe try on. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this out. Let's hope it fits. This is what should have happened on screen. Oh, you got my dad t-shirt on here. Kind of see what's going on. And uh, it does fit, thank God. Uh, I could lose some weight there, that would, that would help. There we go. It could definitely lose a bit of weight. That's a good incentive. And uh, there we go. <laughs> now, <laughs> if I made videos like this every time, I absolutely guarantee people would be like, who is this guy? What is going on? What, what is he wearing? And um, it actually throws the camera off. The camera is struggling to kind of figure out where to focus on because of all the reflections. But um, they sent me golden stuff uh, this is amazing i'm gonna have to hoover this up pick this up i'm gonna keep this in the box this is sort of like once in a lifetime sort of golden uh i don't know stuff but um no honestly uh super grateful uh massive thanks to everyone in the community for uh, the support um yeah you know i i'd like to think that my videos help people but actually um, as I said during the presentation, it's um, super useful to get the feedback from the community. When I make bad videos, people, you know, perk up and say, hey, Tim, this is what you can do better. When I make good videos, people share them and they let other people know about the content. And it's also been great to see other people stepping up to the plate, making videos. There's so many great YouTube channels uh, now that cover Tableau. It's just so good to see the, the space sort of being filled. And um, I think it's just uh, like when when I found out about this, um, I kind of thought something was happening, but I really didn't think it was this. I genuinely didn't think that. And 
Um, I was completely taken aback. Uh, I was just, you know, completely just gobsmacked. I was actually sat right here, of course, because I was dialed in virtually. I think this is maybe the first time it's been done virtually and maybe even the first ever unboxing of a golden hoodie and a try on. So there we go. Maybe a YouTube first, but um, super grateful. Um, I, yeah, I'm genuinely speechless. I never know what to say in these moments. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure I'll think of something good over the next few weeks and months when people keep asking me, what is this hoodie for? Um, if you've got any ideas, let me know in the comments what I should tell people it's for. Um, it'll probably find its new home. Um, let me show you where I think it's going to sit. I won't wear it for all the videos, but I think, I think what we'll do, what we'll do Wait a minute, it's invertible. This is crazy. <laughs> it's invertible. No way. An invertible hoodie. I think that is the single best thing. Oh no, now this. Now this I can wear in every video. <laughs> can you imagine? I think this is how you're supposed to wash it, 100%, to save the golden, um, golden lining because i'm sure that that is a completely different that this is <laughs> this is some sort of dark stuff it's kind of crazy it looks like one of those costumes you see for like a, a villain in a movie or something um anyway i this is like this is like a, an amazing discovery i actually prefer it like this a little bit more understated just a hint of what it is but not too outlandish um you yeah it's amazing um i really like it I'm going to, I was going to put it over there. So if you can just see where I'm pointing, we'll find somewhere to hang it over there. I'll get one of these um, hooks. Uh, that's what I was supposed to get earlier on today, but I completely forgot. So yeah, we need to find a hook. We'll put it up there and hopefully in the next few videos, you'll see it. Anyway, I've labored this point. We've done the unboxing. Um, I think it's getting a bit boring now. So <laughs> if you've got any questions or comments about the hoodie, let me know. Otherwise, um, normal service resumes. I'm actually... Uh, literally editing a video right now. Let me show you this. This is the uh, Tableau Dreamforce Keynote. I've actually, it's a little bit complicated because um, I, I record them, but as you can see, the total timeline length is two hours, 15 minutes, because of course the session's about an hour and then I talk in between. So uh, the bottom track is essentially me talking. Um, actually, no, that's not true. The bottom track is Salesforce. This yellow track is me. And uh, typically what I normally do is I edit it into this sort of timeline. So this is this is where everything goes in. And um, yeah, I'm gonna edit that. We're gonna break down uh, Dreamforce. Uh, there's a long, I, I've not even, I've not even really begun the edit. I'm gonna have to pull out uh, my super duper editing. This is, this is how you do fast edits. You can see it's actually working already. So um, this is how you do fast edits. This little wheel, uh, you can see as I sort of play around with it, it kind of, um, let's see if we can actually do this. I, I'm, I'm just sort of riffing here. I didn't really have a plan for this video, so um, it's not really that interesting. But you can see this little dial wheel kind of allows you to sort of go forward and back. Now you're not supposed to edit in here. What you're supposed to do is go to the cut page. And in the cut page, this wheel becomes like super powerful because what you can do is you can do things like split. You can go in here, split, and then you can ripple delete that gap, okay? And it's a super, 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 fast way to edit. You can literally just sit here, scroll forward, scroll back, cut, scroll forward, scroll back, cut, and you can just find your way through. There's also this shuttle, which allows you to just do this. And it basically allows you to sort of use it like a way of traveling the time track. And then scroll just gives you super fine control of how to do this. So this is essentially actually how I edit really long videos, right? And um, it's a super easy way of doing stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm, that's literally what I got out. I'm probably going to edit that right after this video um, goes up and it takes time to render on YouTube. Um, but <laughs> let's, let's pause that. Um, but yeah, that's basically what's going on. Um, once that video is out, probably later this week, um, we'll start breaking down Dreamforce a little bit more. I'm actually going to be at the uh, Florida user group on Wednesday as well. So be sure to check that out and um, yeah, catch you in the next one.